I think what we're trying to say with Nature Trademark Inc. is that it's not nature, right? It's not the same as nature. People that want to conserve nature in a way that privatizes it, that cuts it up and makes it into uh, to little commodities that you can sell on the market, that's no longer nature. That's a, a, a dead kind of nature that becomes trademarked, so privatized, and that becomes incorporated into bigger market processes that have been the problem in the first place. So it's actually extending the same logic that has led us into this problem to try to answer that, that same problem. And so we shouldn't talk then about nature, you're know, trying to save nature. If capitalism is trying to save nature, then they're trying to save nature, trademark Inc. And that, that's why we figured out, you know, why, why we came up with this concept and thought that there would be a different way of showing what, what is going on, what is happening at the moment. And how we can make a, a you know a, a, a separation or you know differentiation between the kind of nature that we want to save, nature that's animate, that's alive, that 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 you have a relationship with, and nature that you are alienated from and that you have to part from in order to sell it on the market, whereby people actually really don't care so much about nature because they care about making more money, and so they. That's why, you know, they don't care about nature in itself, but about nature that is incorporated and trademarked, which is a very different thing. So we're talking about two different worlds, and that's where the, the concept, I think, comes from. I mean, we're smack in the middle, right in the middle of it, right? So really, in the 1990s, with the whole idea about sustainable development and the importance of the environmental issue, the, sort of the mainstream you know, mainstream, envir mainstream environmental groups like Conservation International, the WWF and others uh, have used this strategy to align with, with, with capitalism, but also, uh, you know, also big companies, big corporations and, and governments have seen that you can, you know, you, you need to do something about environmental degradation, you know, if you, if you don't, want to, don't want the system to collapse. And so you need to find a way to value the, the non-use or the non-transformation or the conservation of nature. That, that's what we term you know, neoliberal conservation. And what it's, where it's at is, is that, that a lot of different people, scientists, economists, uh, ecologists, you name it, policy makers, are trying to find out how, how do you do this valuation? How do you do this incorporation of na nature and trade market? And so that they're, they're busy like, through, through things like payments for ecological services, right, to find payment systems to 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 uh, value a piece of wetland, but yeah, one a wetland in in Arizona and the United States is not the same as a wetland here in the Netherlands. But somehow they need to be made equivalent and have the same type price tag uh, attached to them, so that if you destroy one, you can save the other, and, and they sort of offset each other, which is a very weird idea about about your relationship with nature, of course, as though everything is is is, is the same. And what we believe is we, we need to go, yeah, like I said before, for an animated nature that, that, that you can have a personal relationship with. And that is, is the opposite of it being commodified and, and neoliberalized. But it, it, we're right smack in the middle of it. People are frantically trying to find this quantification mechanisms through initiatives such as the economics of ecosystems and biodiversity, TEEV, as I said. Uh, and other major policy initiatives also in, in, included in the green economy. And I think this, this is sort of for them also the cutting edge and the kind of critique that we are, the kind of things that we are responding with in, in terms of our critique from, you know, from academia and, and civil society and other, other organizations.